everybody. Jesse and Lisa with Lazy Days Ahead. Uh, we were out and about looking at the DAV for whatever we could find. And uh, we come across this thing here called a Cucina Pro tomato strainer. And it was only for $9.99 plus my VA discount. So we said, hey, what the heck, let's try it. So, so Lisa's got it set up here. Oh, by the way, here, she's making some <laughs> fresh bread. She made three different loaves. A square pan loaf, I guess that's like lunch bread. And then regular regular loaves. Actually six. One, two, three, four, five, six little loaves there. Oh, and look at here, look at here, look at here. Tomato sauce. Well, it will be eventually, yeah. And I guess this is cake. Oh, lucky me. Anyway, so we want to try this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and let Lisa do what she's got to do. Do we need to bring this closer? Nope. No. Okay, it's it's actually yeah. anchored down. Yeah, it has a little anyway, but has a little well in there. This is all new to me, so I'm hoping it works. It's supposed to um, strip the skins off the tomatoes and the seeds and the seeds, and then looks like on this side, on the other side, on the other side. Okay, on this side comes the juice. So what I'm going to try and do is. Um, Dehydrate those and okay. then make them into tomato powder. Looks like you get a little bit of stuff on this side too. It's a puree, yeah. Okay. Um, so it's supposed to take most of the skins out on one side and give you the juice and pulp on the other. It's supposed to take all the skins out. Okay. But I'm wondering if I load that thing up. Can I put it twice through? Oh, I probably can. just a cleanup thing. So this side looks like it's getting a lot of the uh, sauce and then a lot of the pulp is in the... No, this is... I mean the pulp here, right? This is the seeds and the skin. Okay. Seeds in the skin. It looks like the handle's leaking, so maybe there's something there's loose on the inside that we need to tighten up. <laughs> looks like in theory, looks like in theory it's working. A little hot. Just a little hot. Not a little, but a lot. This is not a this is not a DIY how to do this. We, this is how we're doing it right now. We're, trust me, we're not experts. We're learning all this as we go. But we saw this and Lisa said, hey, let's try it. Can't hurt, right? Otherwise, you do it the old-fashioned way. Otherwise, you do it the old-fashioned way. By hand. <laughs> yep. Busy little beaver today. She's from Oregon, so I can call her that. It's not one of them five hundred dollar strainers, but hey, it works. When you got that, when you're on that retirement budget, you go with what you get, right? You get what you can get. You get what you can get. You go with what you get. That's right. Now, I'm not sure how much 
quirky it would have been to do it the old fashioned way, but this, this thing looks like it's working pretty good. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot of labor. And I don't see why you couldn't run, run them through twice. I don't think the machine has a preference <laughs> one way or another. I think this will make even even simply Jan would be proud of this. Let me see if I can get it down in there. Top of the see how it works? Some kind of a flapper in there. And you can still strain that again too, right? Like to a fine. Um, no. You want to strain to a fine. Uh, Doesn't say that in the text. Uh, what? Excuse you just me. The seeds and the skins off. Yeah, but I still see seeds going into the into here. Really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look right there. I may not always be right, but I'm never wrong. Yeah, and a few seeds go in. Half of them are majority. We've got a little bit more to go, but we'll let you see what it looks like after it's all done. And there you have it, folks. The 999 strainer. And it's called a Cucina Pro. Cucina Pro. Huh? Tomato strainer makes batches of fresh tomato or applesauce in minutes. There you go. Talk to y'all later, folks. Bye.